thank you for returning to listen to the final episode of the first season of the Fragile Mind series. Uprising Begins. Presented by Broken Arts Entertainment. It warms the cockles of my heart to know that you've come to little old me to remedy your situation. I've been working on this project for a couple of years, and of course, I know all about you. I've meditated, prayed, consulted, and now have curated the finest group of neurological scientists known to exist. Tomas? Thank you. Hello, my name is Dr. Tomas Himmel. I just love his last name, don't you? I have always been researching telepathy and other noetic sciences and have discovered genetic links for most EMCs and isolated C location of set genes. We just want to be normal. Of course, darling. Listen to Tomas. Through gene mutation, we can fix C genetic forces that have created C's noetic specified genes and relieve you of your extramental capabilities. Remove them completely. Yeah. No evidence of ever having them. Yes, dear. That is what the good doctor is saying. You will have none of these capabilities? I don't know, Stephanie. I don't like where this is going. All of our abilities will be muted? Yeah. They will all be gone. Forever. Forever. This is what we want, right? Can we think about this? Yes, of course. We can even pray about it if you'd rather. We're going to think this over. You can come out of hiding. We will change your appearance, your story. No one will know who you are once we're done. Even those closest to you will no longer recognize you, and therefore no longer can be in danger because of you. What do you get? Out of this. I'm merely doing the work of our Heavenly Father to keep things in proper order. Let us think it over. Hmm. Of course. The clock is ticking. I thought you said they'd go along with this. They will. I just need more time. We don't have much time. Prototype A7 is ready for launch. We need to map her genetic code to ensure success. I know. I know. You came to me with a problem. I came up with a solution. Maybe we just start with Sam. Sam isn't the problem. She has value and can be very resourceful. If you know what I mean. Hmm. I'll pray on it, Douglas. Stay in touch. Retza? Yes, ma'am. Would you like me to follow the subjects? Always so eager to please. They are not subjects, honey. They are people. Calling them subjects is no different than referring to them as currency. And they are not currency. They are humans. Yes, I'd like you to follow Douglas McKenzie and report back to me everything. This is all working out too conveniently. Wouldn't you agree, Tomas? Nine. We prayed about this and they have been delivered to us. Yes, dear. The power of it all is astounding. This is going to be a wonderful partnership. Shall we do lunch? Where are we? I don't know. Where did everyone go? I don't know. What happens next? Enough with the questions. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is that clear enough for you? There's a familiarity to this. Hold on. Thank you for holding. This is me dying. Please leave a message after the- I can fix this. I can fix you. I don't want to be fixed. I warned you. I warned all of you that this would happen. Fuck you, dude. We need to go. Where, Carol? You have another safe house? Another wave is coming. Said Rep. There are two squads coming in from the north, one from the east. Tracy's with a squad from the east. 
why are we so concerned about Tracy? Because, um, well, she's one of you. <laughs> In what way? Now's not the time, Brian. It's never the time. Just let me die. <clears throat> Copen, no. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I can't do this anymore. We're all going to die. You can't die, Copen. I won't let you die. I'm not Copen. I'm not who you think I am. I'm broken. I killed my family. You didn't. I did. It's not real. It feels real. Every night, it's all I think about. Daddy, why are you doing this? If I see this every night, how do I ever move on? I can't. My life is dead to me. Brian, get your shit together! Brian, Copen, Pierre. I don't know where one of them stops and one of them begins. I can't do this. Just let me go. No, no you don't. Doug, it's happening again. Okay, everyone, everyone, get into the safe room, now. Move, now. They're closing fast. We have two, maybe three minutes. How did she- Now. Let's go. Everyone, follow me. You too, Brian. No. He stays. Sam stays. JC. Tomas, dear, explain to me again in simple terms. What is wrong with the test subject? <sighs> His nervous system has rejected the Alpha 37 process. It should work. It's supposed to work, but he rejects it. Show me. Turn left, test subject. Complying. See? This here is the part of him that is dying as a result of the genetic mutation. I'm dying? Shh. It's okay. We'll fix you. I don't know if... Uh, He's right here, darling. See this? What is this? It's a mass that has formed as a result of constant testing. I'm sorry. What is your name, son? Gary. There's no need to be nervous or scared. You are in very capable hands. Thank you. I didn't do what you think I did. I know you didn't. Tomas, it would seem to me that we need to make the wall stronger and eliminate this and we are good to go. There's more. There shouldn't be more. Would you like to know? No. Now leave, both of you. Well, I hope you have good news. I do. There's going to be a meeting of the four at the same place, and it's soon. Oh, how lovely and convenient. God is good, isn't he? Yes, of course. We're back! Seems so. Was that the future? Hell if I know. It's nice to not be in the noise. I wonder why it stopped. I don't know. We can't surrender. We need to leave. If we surrender, then maybe no one else dies. We all will die. You, me, your friends. We all get recycled through the chamber and spit out into some alternate reality. Me too? No. You will die. They will kill you. So what are you saying, Carol? We run? How long? I don't have all the answers. You're supposed to. I believe in you. We don't even know who we are. And why isn't Doug back yet? This was my safe space. My haven. I brought you here to get to know yourselves, but I fucked up. I really messed this up. You're so hard to read. Are you responsible for all of this? Of course. 
This was my chance at redemption against corporate greed. How we're all just a number producing numbers. I was never in lockstep with how the center worked, and as a result, I got fired. Me and the others. I was different, though. I knew more than I should have known. Resentful, vengeful, all of the ideal items to start an uprising, and then it hit me. You were in there. Me? I was there? You. You are my biggest regret. I had no idea you were coping. Didn't register at all. I thought you were like the other rejects, just cast off into a pile of human waste waiting to go back to prison. I pulled you away, removed your chip. Then I found a glitch in their process. Ways to insert the people I was saving. You, though. They went overboard on your PTSD memory. I thought taking away your chip would get rid of the memory, but minds are fragile, and in the same way, the harder the memory, the more it stays with you. Fuck the machine! Where's Doug? He should be back by now. He'll be back! You hate him. I do hate him. He betrayed all of us. Even for all that, though, he continues to fight for what he thinks is right. That and self-preservation. A flaw to the team, but we've known him forever. I'm not part of a team. I'm only on my side. No one else is taking sides with me. Sam, I'm- JC! No! You're Samantha Saunders, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. You're one of us! Biblical. I didn't take you for a Bible thumb. Think about it. I just took out two squads of soldiers. Don't. Is that... Oh my god. That's Jason. Yeah, sweetheart. One of your snipers took him out. He didn't deserve to die. Yeah, well, neither did the 20 or so soldiers this demon fucking killed. I deserve to die. Please just let me die. Holy shit. You did it, Carol. I can't believe you managed to find them all. Hello, Tracy. I'd say it's nice to see you again. That's for canceling me. You hit like a reject. Soft and pathetic. Give me your transponder. That's not happening. Okay. That's fine. I'll just remove it from your lifeless body. I'd do what he says. Apparently, he has some pent-up anger issues. And he's just dying to release it on someone. He already got me a couple of times. He's no better than the rest of you. <clears throat> not much longer I'm not with this here. shit! Put her down. <clears throat> She's going to leave them here. Fine, no one else deserves to die. Why do you get to decide who lives and who dies? Can you kill me? Enough of this shit! Listen here. What's the plan? Capture you guys, bring you back, feed you, recycle you, kill you, or back to prison. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I like you. What if that's not an option? One of them is. They will either kill you or recycle you. You don't have a choice. We could run. Yeah, and eventually be caught or killed. You're fugitives. You don't know who's on your side and who isn't. We didn't do what you think we've done. I know. Okay. There's an abandoned warehouse. Uh, what? What's she doing here? Nice to see you too, Reuben. I thought you were going to... You should be dead. Doug decided to keep me alive, for whatever reason. Back on task! We are innocent! Maybe you didn't kill your husband. But what's your kill count now? Dozens? Hundreds? It was the UOD! Doesn't matter if it was Satan himself and his demons. You killed a lot of people. You play God with your powers. I don't. That's enough! Is there a use for her? Hostage? I have no value. But... I could get you someone who does have value. Who? Kelly Emery. A therapist? Sure. Who is she? She has the hots for you. And you. Me? Okay. What's her value? She's the one who runs the memory implants. She could fix you. And you, paranoid one. Get you back to whoever you want to be. It's tempting. But for now, hand over the transponder. Fine. I've probably stalled long enough anyway. I hope you did.
You're one of my favorites. You know that? I didn't know that. Yes. Always have been. From the moment we saved you. Saved me? Sure. Saved you, darling. You've been amazing. How do you like being a Carol? I love it. I thought that'd be the answer. For that reason, I'm going to promote you. You are? Yes, you've earned it. You are now licensed therapist, Dr. Kelly Emery. Doctor? Of course, after we put you into the chamber. Oh, no thanks. I'm not interested in going in again. This is only going to be so you can pass as a therapist. Three, six hour sessions, honey. Only change will be rewiring how your little mind works. Tomas has developed the technology, and now we get to use it to our advantage. What's in it for me? An R.I. An R.I.? Okay. All for you. Your choice, too. How hard will this be? Lay in the chamber and listen to the sweet melodies of Zara or whoever while a mist envelops your soul. Not hard at all. Memory changes? Well, now. You know how that works. Think about how important this advancement will be. Okay. I will do it. On one condition, I would like for the Carol named Nicole to go through the chamber and become my R.I. Oh. Well, this is a plot twist. I had no idea. Neither does she. back. Something feels out of place. Of course. All of this does. I I can't figure out the pattern. Things are moving too fast. It's as if we've already been captured and new memories are being implanted, you know? No, I don't know. Any second now. This is a lot to take in. Which part? All of it. Being innocent? You all having EMC powers? You're dying. It's so sad. So incredibly sad. There's something off with her. Yes, Nicole, there is. Don't call me Nicole. Thank you for waltzing into my office. You know, we were nervous that we had lost you. Isn't this a conundrum? Tammy or Nicole? What? It's a trap. No. You see, a trap means that I've tricked you into something. You are all so stupid that you thought I'd be on your side. You were on my side, but I had to go or I was going to be killed or worse, changed. Can you kill me? Yes, dear. I would gladly end all your misery. What do we do? I don't know. I thought maybe after hearing your story, she'd help us. That should shut her up for a bit. We need to find the boss. That's our next step. No one knows who they are or where they're located. I bet she knows. God! Who's your boss? I'm not telling you. Tell us where the boss is. Ritza, you of all people should know that the boss is a very private person. Tell us where the boss is. Or what? You'll kill me? You be doing me a favor. I'm not different than Brian. You're a center employee. Am I really? I'm a criminal. In fact, Tammy's PTSD memory was also my PTSD memory, just with more flair. Let that sink in. I stabbed my husband 37 times while he slept. You know, it's funny how the world works. Are any of us truly innocent? Are any of us truly guilty? There's a complexity in life that reveals itself in the moments that require complete self-awareness. I'm not even sure that I'm a real therapist. Like you, I'm just a cog in the machine. Small and insignificant, but aware. Constantly aware of my flaws. That's a large burden to carry. Always aware of the accumulation of flaws. Some of us are engineered that way, right Brian? 
by being one of the original chippers, I got to choose an R.I. That's romantic interest for the new people in the room. When Tammy walked through the door, I knew it was no longer Nicole. What? Me? Tammy's aura, her personality, her brokenness, all weaved into this fantastic project that I had to be a part of. I wanted nothing more than to love you. Then this guy came along and whoosh! The romance was over before it could really begin. That's a neat story, but it doesn't get us closer to our objective. What is that exactly? Bring down the center. I see. No, Carol, you want that. We just want our lives back. If this place needs to be brought down at the same time, then so be it. Somewhat competing agendas. One is a matter of convenience, the other's about survival. Very intriguing. The boss? I don't think I'm going to tell you. Why does everyone have to be the villain here? What did we do that was so terrible? We saved lives. We saved the world. Tammy, don't you see? You are too powerful together. It's about control. I can't believe that you can't see that. Telepathy, telekinesis, clairvoyant, strength, and who knows what else. These EMCs are dangerous to the people in power. We're just different. We're not dangerous. If you can't be controlled, then you are dangerous. You, Missy, are probably the most dangerous. You might not think you all have EMCs, but you do. Your incredible awareness, cloaked in paranoia, your calculative qualities, you're all very dangerous. Which is why the government needs control over you. Which is why the center had to find you first. Ah, the lesson's done for today. Thank you, Professor. Clearly she's stalling you for something. You won't find the boss. You should have just run away. It's about time. Hands off. I can hear what you're thinking. You must be Tammy. I don't know who Tammy is. Or Stephanie, or whoever the fuck. You have powers. You don't even have to try. I just slip in and out of them so easily. You're weak. He's in my head! Get out! It's warm in here. There really isn't any distance between science and faith. He is lovely and doesn't look a thing like Michael. Impressive. Michael? Yes, the former host of... You know what? Not relevant. What can he do? It's more like, what can't I do? I feel amazing. He talks. Of course. Exodus 2017. Oh, he's good. However, honey, you aren't anyone's wife. Per your request, he knows the entire Bible front to back. His crime? Uh, Your crime, dear. Domestic terrorist. Heavy. I must be in constant repentance for my sins against humanity. Constant? Programmed to specifications. Lovely. Just lovely. What else can he do? Let me show you. Ma'am, there is a distress signal coming from the left wing of building number 11. Perhaps a test. I believe he's too infinitesimal of mine to take on such a test. Oh, nonsense. We have a reject problem, and I'd like to see what James can do. I'm eager to show you. Can I? Yes, of course. Please do. Tomas, darling, you have to know that this reject situation is the low-hanging fruit for someone like James. He's beautiful, by the way. You should be proud. Hmm. Anything else? No. You are dismissed. Why does this keep happening? I don't know. Is it real or is it not? Who is that? 
seems real, but when we're in here, it seems nice. What is that? I don't know. Run. Wait. It's stopping. It's slowing down and stopping. What is it? It smells terrible. It's huge. And why is it stopping? Are you gonna touch it? Might as well. Don't touch... It's turning bright. Wait a second. We're inside your mind, Brian. That can't be good. Look, over there, a memory. And here... You're stronger than you look. And here... Oh, no. Why are you doing this? That's the one. That's the one. What have I done? Who are these people? That's a new part of the memory. Where am I? I don't know what's happening. Rewind PTSD memory acceleration. Cut after the little girl asks why. Sorry, Brian. I went too far. You'll have to forgive me. Do you see it now? I do. I am so sorry they did this to you. I wish I could take it away. It's, it's okay. It's okay. What, did, what did you do? Well, I, I touched it. I, I'm sorry. No. What? It's gone. It's completely gone. Really? It didn't go somewhere else? No, it's gone. I know there was something there, and I know we were talking about something, but I can't remember what it was at all. Tired of dying? Tired of wishing I was dead? Here's something. My work was sought after all over the world. I remember. You shared some samples with me. I did. And then you ran a background check on me and didn't give me a chance to explain. Copen, Copen, I'm talking to you. Please listen. Being around me puts your life in danger. Are you sure you want to be involved? Because this isn't a now thing. This is a forever thing. You got that? Keep that one. It's real. It's the truth. Hold Brian's hand. He'll show you. Is this real? I think so. A clairvoyant can only go so far into the future, but you've already manipulated the future enough that it may be changed forever. Brian? I'm sorry. Who? Jenny, your nose is bleeding. Oh no. Wait, I've seen all of this. Here, help me pick her up. Put her on the- No! This isn't uh, supposed to happen. I warned you. I warned all of you that this could happen. Jason. Fuck you, dude. Oh, Jason. Uh, He's dead, Jason. Jenny. He's fucking dead. We need to go. No. This can't be happening. Jason, no. Please, no. We need oh, to run. Next. We can't leave him behind. Now. Tammy, stop. Yes? How about a little me time? It's a lot to who handle. Who are you? You know who I am. Let me introduce you to some of my friends. Howdy. She's the one. Thank you. For? James is the recipient of all the hard work the sender has put in. I don't understand. We have learned so much from you and Copen and Sam. I bet you didn't even know you could project, but you can. Tracy here was our first prototype, A7. Nearly lost her. Nicole was also an early entrant into our pool of potentials. She was so likable. Too likable, in fact. I'm the final prototype. Alpha 37. 
There are two curious things, though. You have a capacity for healing others that we can't seem to find the genetic mutation or protein abundance. And the shockwave. The devastating shockwave. I'm not talking to you. Predictable. <laughs> How about now? You know, I've been trying to figure out if I'm the monster, but now I know you, it's you. You are the monster. <laughs> Again, James. Perhaps you should understand something. You don't know who you're fucking with, do you? Let me show you a little something. Stop that! Now! Set her up! There are two squads coming in from the north, one from the east. Tracy is with the squad from the east. Wait, the center just released another elite? Could this be a- The boss, the Alpha 37 prototype, and the doctor. Tracy has EMCs. James is bad news. I can take out the soldiers, but I can't take out the- Prototype, I know how to do it. What? I know how to do it. No, I heard you, but how? You know as well. Are you sure? Has to be done. Spoke to Copen. We can't stay here. We need to move. He's back to full-ish health. I tend to lead towards the one that can tell the future. Doug. What? We need you. I wish that were true. We do. I appreciate you. I do. You ever betray me again, I will kill you. You can't. Unless you have one last trick. I don't think you can dodge this. Oh. Let's go. Neat trick. Looks like we have to keep him. I could have told you, Steph. Yeah, thanks, Copen. Where's the elite? Half a mile to the south. We have a small window, but if they sense that we have left, then... Shit. Let's get moving! Well, okay. See? I told you we were on the right side of this. Just need you to stay on this side. This concludes our first season of A Fragile Mind. This season featured Gwen Frazier as Tammy and Jenny, Adam Ferguson as Retza and Ruben, Nathan Roach as Ted and Jason, Dana Hall as Lara and Tracy, Lily Collins as Carol, Ian Ashland as Brian, Cole Zubak as Doug, Hannah Lee DeFratis as JC, Helen May Crawford as Dr. Kelly Emery, Claire Shadray as Shelley, Jeff Cabral as Dr. Tomas Himmel and Episode 7 show director, Derek Kingsley as James and Michael, Randy Hunt as opening and closing credits and voiceover for Episode 7. Jason Cook as Reject. Ray Fletcher as Episode 7 show stage manager. Jack Davis as Gary. Emma Eukaitis as Young Stephanie. Sarah Beth Lupian as Daughter. Noah Turner and Joe Swenson as various voices. This was written and directed, edited, and executive produced by Joe Swenson. Also produced by Helen May Crawford and Jack Davis. Music and sound effects provided by Motion Array. A Fragile Mind is a Broken Arts Entertainment audio fiction podcast. Stay tuned to Broken Arts Entertainment as they release season one of the Loved Ones podcast. 14 plays by nine writers starring 23 Broken Arts Entertainment company members, including most of your favorite actors from A Fragile Mind. Please subscribe and visit our website for upcoming information about any of our podcasts at brokenartsentertainment.com. And thank you for listening to Season 1 of A Fragile Mind.